probability distribution below. So this is the probability distribution. X is the distribution of variable and this is the corresponding probability. Remember, the condition is if this is a probability distribution table, we go for variance and standard deviation. If it is not a probability distribution, then you can do all the hard work at the end of the day. You won't be able to find your standard deviation and variance. So first thing, we check out whether it is a probability distribution table. So well, how do you find that out? We add all of this. If it sums up to 1, then it is a probability distribution table. So 0.38 plus 0.15. Again, I'm getting you all this. Plus 0.11 plus 0.19 plus 0.02 plus as you see 0.15 is 1 so that sum up to 1 so this is a probability distribution table so it's add up to 1 easily add up to 1 probability of x 1 so now we can proceed how do we proceed we have at least two formulas okay so well this is another one but I, I, I like this one actually. This one is easy to handle actually. Even though a lot of work, but if you pay attention, you organize things. Well, you might not given this two column actually. So I just created myself so I don't misplace anywhere work to in any rows work to anywhere else. So it doesn't look messy. Okay. So what is given? What is the formula? Variance is equal to, well, you do sum of the difference the square times the probability of x seems like we have a probability of x we have the x but we don't have the mean so how do we find the mean earlier we learned mean is basically x times the sum of x times the probability of x so we, somehow we can multiply this and at the end we add that would be our mean so let's organize this let's put that in here so this is going to be x times the probability of x once we have this, we add all of this is going to give us the mean. So I'm going to put this whole expression right here actually. So I can see what I can do, what we need to work out. Okay. All right. So I need a mean or at least going to come from here. Let's do one at a time. So if I multiply zero times, anything is going to be zero. And clearly if I do this one times that is going to give you 0.15 and 2 times 0.11 is going to give me 0.22 and 3 times that is going to be 0.57 or 0.57 I should say and 4 times 0 2 is going to be 0 0.08 and 5 times 0 0.15 so 15 cents times 5 is 75 cents and I am going to add all this up once I add all this up is going to give me this whole thing up is going to give me the mean so again, I'm going to add up all of this. I'm going to add all of this to give to get mean. So any calculator is going to any simple calculator is going to give you. I did ahead of time. So mean is equal to 1.77. Now we are going to we know everything. We know the x. We know the mean from here, and we know the probability of x. So I'm going to actually outline it here a little bit. So this red color X, I'm going to just substitute that one here. And also, this is the mean. So I want to make sure that it's going to go there. And also, probability of X. There you go. That's the probability of X. That goes up here. So if you can follow through the connection I did, and you just substitute it and at the end we add that would be our variance so let's take a look here I'm gonna put down all of this 0 minus 1.77 okay 0 minus 1.77 if I work on that everything I just 0 mean is 0.177 and times the probability of x that's here and any simple calculator is going to give us approximately 1.191 so that's basically the variance and in order to find the variance in standard deviation we usually leave th in three decimal places so I'm going to do the same thing 1 times sorry 1 minus 1.77 1 minus 1.77 times 0.15 1 
So let's take a look here. We can do the same thing on this one. And this is going to give me approximately 0 0.089. Again, as you see, this red color, X values is red. And of course, this color code, as you see, this one down here, color code. So we basically just simplify it all the way. So I can get next one two times, sorry, two minus 1.77 is going to give me approximately 0 0.006. You can get any calculator and check check it with me. And next one is 3 minus 1.77 squared times 0.19. I want to make sure something here. This is a multiplication just in the middle, remember, and decimal. This is the difference between decimal and multiplication. If you, you can use parentheses also instead of this dot. Or, or just plainly multiplication but this decimal is always on the bottom as you see and multiplication is the in, in the middle okay so that is approximately in this case is going to give me 0.288 and same thing for minus that square and approximately this is going to give me 0.099 and finally we have 5 minus 1.77 square times 0.199 one five is going to approximately give us 1.565 we are ready we are ready to get the answer so what is the answer we are looking for here we're going to actually add all of this we're going to add all of this and this is what we did all this work and that would give us the answer which is the variance that is the variance so this is going to give us the variance adding all of this approximately because we round up rounding up 3.238 so we found our variance question asked us to find the variance now how do we find the standard deviation so standard deviation is basically standard deviation is basically square root of 3.238 so square root of 3.238 in any simple calculator you can use it it should give you 3.238 is approximately 1.799 that's the standard deviation so this is standard deviation and this is the variance and that's how we find variance and standard deviation from binomial probability distribution table. Variance and standard deviation. Remember, once you add all of this, that will give you variance. How do you find the standard deviation? You just square root it. Or some book has a formula, square root of the whole thing actually. So. It's, it's up to you, any way you want to do, but I found this one is the easy way of working.